Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains how to construct a 60 degree angle. One way, anyways. Um, after you try it on your own, when you've tried long enough, go ahead and see how... See this way. There are other ways. Okay, so... Let's create a circle. And let's create a circle from there, from B to A. So now let's intersect those two circles. At a point where those two circles intersect, I guess I should say. You may be able to see it already. An equilateral triangle has angles of 60 degrees. And the distance from A to B is the same as the distance from A to D because they both go from the center of the circle to, to the edge of the same circle. The distance from D to B is the same as the distance from D to A because they also no, I'm sorry B to D and B to A are also the same length because they go from the center of this circle to the edge of that same circle and because this pair of, of side lengths of the triangle are the same uh, as these and these two are the same this one in the middle is common to both, so they must all three be the same length. So it must be an equilateral triangle. We can check it out. We can measure the angle. Well, we can measure the length of the sides. Should we do that one first? That length, that side, that side, that side, are all the same. Even if we stretch the circle, they the lengths of the sides of the triangle all remain the same. What about the angles? So I go A, B, D, B, D, A, and then we'll go D, A, B, 60 degrees, A, B, D. All three 60 degrees. You can see them a little easier up here. You can Supposedly we can drag those, yeah, we can drag those labels out. They're a little more legible, but they are legible up here in the left also. So it's an equilateral triangle. All the ang angles are 60 degrees. That's what we were trying to con construct was a 60 degree angle, whichever one of those we want to use.